This video covers German assault guns and tank destroyers and how they were deployed. I've been forced to divide this topic into two parts, this being part two. While translating Panzerjäger into English, I've used the term tank destroyer rather than the correct tank hunter. This is to align with US nomenclature. When translating Ausführung into English, I've used the British term Mark rather than the correct term Model. The Panzerjäger Aim, or Tank Hunter 1, was the first of the German tank destroyers to see service in the Second World War. Panzerjäger 1 was generally organised into nine vehicle companies, with three companies per battalion. For the French campaign only, Tank Destroyer Battalion 521 had six vehicles per company. With two exceptions, the Panzerjäger Aim was only used by independent anti-tank battalions during the war. After the Balkan campaign, one company was assigned to the SS Brigade Liebstandarte, the SS Adolf Hitler, and another to the 900th Motorized Training Brigade in preparation for Operation Barbarossa. Anti-tank battalion 521, 616, 643 and 670 had 99 vehicles in the Battle of France. Only anti-tank battalion 521 participated in the campaign from the beginning as the other three battalions were still in a training state of, uh, uh, until a few days after the campaign began. They were sent to the front as they finished their training. 27 Panzerjäger 1s equipped anti-tank battalion 605 in North Africa. It arrived in Tripoli, Libya between 18th and 21st of March 1941. Five replacements were sent in September 1941, but only three arrived on the 2nd of October, the others being sunk on board the freighter Castiglione. Anti-tank battalion 521, 529, 616, 643 and 670 were equipped with 135 Panzerjäger 1s for Operation Barbarossa. They were held at corps and army level. The Panzerjäger 1 were the first of the German tank destroyers to see service in the Second World War, as earlier indicated. The base model was armed with the 4.7cm anti-tank gun, but a few were armed with the 37 Pac-36 and used in France in May 1940. This was not considered successful and they were upgraded to the 5cm Pac-38 later that year. The Panzerjäger Minusain, armed with the 5cm anti-tank gun, was an ad hoc field conversion conducted in late 1940. As World War II progressed, Germany was forced to desperately cobble together whatever armoured vehicles could get onto the front line. One such vehicle was the Panzerjäger 1B with a 7.5cm L48 gun, a tank hunter based on the chassis of the old Panzer I Mark B light tank and mounting a 7.5cm gun from a Stuck tank destroyer. This vehicle is believed to be a one-off field conversion that appeared late in the war with photographic evidence placing it in the vicinity of Berlin in 1945. Let's look at the organisation of this vehicle. The first tank destroyer battalion, 521, was formed in May 1940, which consisted of three platoons of six vehicles and a headquarters with motorised infantry and three machine guns. In March 1940, the company strength was increased to nine vehicles each, giving the battalion a total of 27 vehicles. About seven armoured anti-tank battalions were equipped with the Panzerjäger 1. The Mardet Minus Ains, or SDK Z135, was a German World War II tank destroyer armed with a 7.5cm Pac-40 anti-tank gun. Most Marda 1's vehicles were built on the base of the Lorraine 37L, a French artillery tractor and armoured personnel carrier, of which the Germans had acquired more than 300 after the fall of France in 1940. The first Lorraine-based Marda 1's vehicles were sent to the Eastern Front in 1942 to serve in the tank destroyer battalions of the infantry divisions. This included the 31st, 35th, 72nd, 206th, 256th and 227th Infantry Division, as well as the 36th Motorized Division. While not formally attached, it became increasingly more common for infantry divisions to have a tank destroyer company or battalion attached. The next most common version of the Amad 1 was based on the French Hotchkiss H39, of which 24 were converted. This would have equipped a single tank destroyer battalion. During 1942, all the Amada-1 vehicles were allocated to independent tank destroyer battalions. However, it was common for companies to be split off and allocated to other divisions on an ad hoc basis, particularly infantry divisions. The final version of the Amada-1 was based on the French FCM-36, of which only 10 were converted. It's unknown where these vehicles were allocated, but it may have been with the Amada-1s based on the Hotchkiss H-39. 
If we look at the way the Ahmad One was specifically organised and used the January 1942 organisation, the tank destroyer battalions at this time consisted of three companies of nine vehicles with a single headquarters vehicle for a total of 28 vehicles, and this is probably the way the Ahmad Ones were organised. The Marder Minas Fei came in two basic versions, or major versions. The first version, SD Cave Z-132, was based on the Light Panzer II Mark D, or Mark E, and Flam Panzer II Chassis. It was armed with a captured Soviet 7.62cm gun that were rebuilt to accept the larger German 7.5 Pac-4 40 propellant cartridges. This improved its penetrative capabilities and eliminated the need for using captured ammunition. These early Mard II vehicles had a high silhouette and relatively thin armour compared to other armoured vehicles. There was no armour on the top or rear, leaving the crew with very little protection. Alquette built 150 vehicles in April May 1942, and Vergemann converted a further 52 from mid-1942 to 1943. The Marder IIs were organised into tank destroyer companies of 14 vehicles each and attached to the tank destroyer battalions of the Panzer and Panzer D Grenadier Divisions. They were mainly deployed in Russia. The second version of the Marder II, SDK Z-131, was based on the newly built Panzer II Mark F hulls. This Marder II had a redesigned, that is widened, fighting compartment and used the German 7.5cm Pac-40 anti-tank gun. The silhouette was lowered by about 40 centimetres to 2.2 metres, but the armour was thin and the compartment was opened on the top and rear. Farmo Ursus produced 531 vehicles from July 1942 to June 1943. About 130 more were converted from mid-1943 to early 1944, when the last Panzer IIs were taken out of active service. Marder IIs were allocated to various tank destroyer battalions, primarily attached to the Panzer divisions of the Armour and Waffen SS, but also some Luftwaffe units operating close to the front line. The Marder IIs were organised into tank destroyer companies consisting of three platoons of four vehicles and two headquarters vehicles for a total of 14 vehicles. While the Panzer 38T was largely obsolete as a tank in early 1942, it was still an excellent and plentiful platform for adaptation into a tank destroyer, among other roles. Since the Soviet 7.62cm field gun was captured in large quantities, the decision was made to mate this gun to the Panzer 38T. The Marder Minus Drei, or Marder III, was used by the tank destroyer battalions of the Panzer Divisions for both the Army and the Waffen SS, as well as several Luftwaffe units such as the Hermann Göring Division. The next variant of the Marder III fielded the standard 7.5cm Pac 40 German anti tank gun on a slightly modified Panzer 38T Mark H chassis. There were normally two companies of 14 vehicles each, allocated to each Panzer and Panzergrenadier Division. The Marder III was deployed along with the Marder II in these formations. The last Marder III variant was based on the Gestutzwagen 38T Mark M, a purpose-built or purpose-designed vehicle for self-propelled gun use, again armed with the 7.5cm Pac-40 anti-tank gun. The Mark N was the final variant of the Marta series and was a significant improvement over previous models with a lower silhouette, sloped armour and a much more functional fighting compartment. In this variant the engine was moved from the rear to the middle between the driver and the rest of the crew. By January 1944, two Marta III or Marta IIs were added to the tank destroyer battalions of the Panzer and Panzergrenadier divisions, increasing their authorised strength. In January 1944, the tank destroyer battalions consisted of two companies of 14 vehicles, one company of 12 Pac 40s, and three vehicles at headquarters level, for a total of 31 vehicles and 12 guns. The French Renault R35 medium tanks were also used as a mobile mounting for the Czech anti tank gun of 44.7cm. These machines were used in the German forces in occupied France and at the time of the Normandy campaign. They were deployed in the tank destroyer battalions of the Panzer and Panzergrenadier divisions based in France, adopting the role of the Marder. 
According to, Ger according to German armoured units at Arnhem, September 1944, by Marcel Schwartz, Tank Destroyer Battalion 657 was commanded by Hauptmann Pulowski and was equipped by six 4.7cm Pack Aus 35R, 17 Panzer 35Rs, including in fact a few Hotchkicks 38Hs unaltered, 12 Renault UEs and 8 7.5cm Pack 40 guns. While not as effective as the Marder III, these vehicles were nonetheless reasonably useful against Western Allied vehicles. The Jagdpanzer Akturaisik, or Jagdpanzer 38, or SDK Z 138-2, was a German light tank destroyer of the Second World War based on the modified Czechoslovakia Panzer 38T chassis. It proved incredibly successful. The first of 45 Jagdpanzer 38 vehicles entered service with the Army Tank Destroyer Battalion 731 on the 4th to the 13th of July 1944 and proved extraordinarily popular with the crew and very effective. The Jagdpanzer 38-70 was a prototype version experimenting with mounting the 7.5cm L70 gun from the Panther. Three prototypes were built but the long gun and extra weight caused even bigger problems driving the vehicle. A proposal by Krupp to modify the Jagdpanzer 38 with a superstructure to the rear to mount the gun but was proposed, but no more development was done on the idea and it went by the wayside. While the initial Jagdpanzer 38s were organised into battalions, the companies were often off allocated as required. They were later organically attached to infantry divisions and issued to light cavalry and grenadier corps rather than independent units. By late 1944, each company was given 14 Jagdpanzer 38s. In February of 1945, the Jagdpanzer 38 company size was reduced from 14 to 10. In 1943, it was decided to take a well-proven battle tractor and place a 7.5cm Pack 40 on its back in order to provide more mobile anti-tank capability on the front line. After only a very limited amount were produced, it was made clear that this was one conversion that was not a successful fighting vehicle. The first deployment of this vehicle was with Army Group Centre in January 1944. Some were sent to the 1st Ski Yaga Brigade and some were sent to Army Group North to Tank Destroyer Battalion 751 and 752. In the 1st Ski Yaga Brigade, the RSO Pack 40 vehicles were incorporated into the 13th Tank Destroyer and Flak Company, where it was deployed in two platoons with an infantry escort platoon. Inside an RSO tank platoon, there were three RSO Pack 40 vehicles, one supply vehicle, one Kubelwagen for the platoon commander, and a Kettenkrat. In addition, this vehicle was said to be less than desirable. It was slow, noisy, and the engine had a tendency to overheat in warm weather. The lack of armour and high silhouette was also an issue, as many crewmen, crewmen were lost when they attracted fire of any kind. The Jagdpanzer IV Zero series with a 7.5cm Pack 30L43 gun was based on the Panzer IV. A small number of these were built as the pre-production, as pre-production probably in December 43, where they were quickly proved to be highly successful. After some minor changes, the first Jagdpanzer IV or SDK Z162, armed with the 7.5cm Pack 39L48, began production with 784 uh, vehicles produced between January 44 and November 1944. The Jagdpanzer IV served in the anti-tank sections of Panzer and SS Panzer divisions. They fought against Western Allied forces in Normandy and the Battle of Bludge, Bulge and Soviet forces on the Eastern Front. The Jagdpanzer IV's gun was upgraded. The Jagdpanzer IV 70V or SDK said 162-1 was armed with the same Pack 42 L70 gun in the Panther. The V stands for the designer of Ormag, the most produced version. This vehicle was built between August 1944 and April 1945 and was probably the most effective German Panzerjager vehicle produced in World War II. The Jagdpanzer 4 70 V would be used to equip many different German units. For Panzer and Panzergrenadier divisions, they were grouped into tank destroyer battalions. The tank destroyer battalions usually had two tank destroyer companies. These tank destroyer companies were to be equipped with 10 or 14 Jagdpanzer 4 70s divided into three platoons, with one to three vehicles assigned to the company HQ. As the Jagdpanzer 4 70 did not reach the front in great numbers, these units were often below the officially prescribed combat strength. 
The Odd Panzer 4 70 a was built at a Panzer IV factory to get it out quicker. It was taller, only 278 were built by Nibelukenwerker from August 1944 to March 1945. The Jagdpanzer IV seventy A was deployed to at least nine Panzer divisions and three Panzer Grenadier divisions. The initial structure or organization used for the Jagdpanzer IV was the standard fourteen vehicle tank destroyer company. By February nineteen forty five, the strength of the tank destroyer companies had dropped to ten vehicles each. The Nashorn, initially known as Hornet, was a German tank destroyer of World War II. It was developed as an interim solution in 1942 by equipping a light, turretless chassis with the 8.8cm pack 43 heavy anti-tank gun. Although only lightly armoured and displaying a high profile, it could penetrate any Allied tanks at long range, and its relative low cost and superior mobility to heavier vehicles ensured it remains in, remained in production until the war's end. It was particularly useful on the Eastern Front, where engagement ranges were significantly larger, giving it a big advantage. The Hornet, or Nashorn, made its debut during the Battle of Kursk in 1943, where it performed considerably well, or performed very well. The ability to engage the enemy at long distances negated the disadvantages of its light armour, lack of a roof and a large profile, and revealed that the weapon was suited to the open and flat, step, flat landscape via steppe of much of the Soviet Union. The Nashorn was, were organised into battalions, consisting of three companies of 14 vehicles each and a headquarters of three vehicles. As with other tank hunter battalions, the companies were often split off and allocated as required. The Elefant was a heavy tank destroyer used by Germany as a heavy Panzerjager during World War II. 91 units were built in 1943 under the name Ferdinand after its designer Ferdinand and Porsche. It used tank hulls produced for the Tiger One tank design, abandoned in favour of a Henschel design. 89 Ferdinand tank destroyers were completed and shipped to the front, arranged across two battalions of Panzer Regiment 654 in July, by July 1943. During the Battle of Kursk, the heavy tank destroyer companies consisted of 14 vehicles each. Three of these made up a battalion, along with three in the battalion headquarters, making up a total of 45 vehicles in the battalion as a whole. In January to April 1944, Ferdinand's received modifications and upgraded, upgrades, including a machine gun. They were renamed Elefant in May 1944. The official German designation was Panzerjager Tiger P, with the Ordnance Inventory designation was SDKFZ 184. The Ferdinands were successful in places. Ferdinands of the 653rd Battalion supported the 292nd Infantry Division, quickly pushed several miles into the Soviet line, reaching their initial designated objectives. The 2nd Ferdinand Battalion, the 654, effectively supported the 78th Infantry Division in its attack, although this attack stalled inside the Soviet defensive system when infantry support um, basically was cleared away, and this is probably where the poor old Ferdinand gets its uh, poor reputation. But it was just simply a bad tactical situation. The vehicle actually was extremely effective as a breakthrough assault gun, or tank destroyer. With the loss of Italy in September 1943, additional German fire had to be, firepower had to be sent to the Italian front. This included the revised or redesigned Edifants, which were completed in March of 1945 and delivered to the charge of Tank Destroyer Battalion 653. The battalion consisted of up to 48 vehicles, and as loss, losses mounted, this number obviously dropped. No replacements were delivered. The Yard Panther, or SDK-173, was a highly successful tank destroyer built by Germany during World War II, based on the chassis of the Panther tank. Yard Panther equipped heavy anti-tank battalions and served mainly on the Eastern Front after February 1945. In the West, they were encountered in very small numbers late in the Battle of Normandy. The German 654th Heavy Anti-Tank Battalion deployed about 12 Jagdpanthers against the British Armed Forces. Due to production problems, it wasn't possible to bring the 654th up to full strength before being sent to the front in June 1944. Later, significant numbers were concentrated in the West for the Ardennes Offensive. Each Young Panther tank destroyer company was scheduled to receive 14 of this tank destroyer and an additional three command tanks for the battalion headquarters. 
The Jagdtiger is the common name of a German casement type heavy tank destroyer from World War II. Its official German designation was Panzerjager Tiger Mark B. This vehicle having been built upon the slightly lengthened chassis of a Tiger II. Only two heavy anti tank battalions, numbered 512 and 653, were equipped with Jager Tigers, with the first vehicles reaching the units in September 1944. The Jag Tiger Heavy Tank Destroyer Battalions consisted of three companies of ten vehicles each and an unknown number in battalion headquarters level. Tiger One Tank Ace Otto Karras commanded the second of three companies of Jager Tigers in Heavy Anti-Tank Battalion 512. His post-war memoirs, Tigers in the Mull, provided a rare combat history of the ten Jag Tigers put under his command. This completes part two of my video series on German assault guns and tank destroyers. As you've probably guessed by now, this was primarily focused on tank destroyers with the exception of the Stug variety. I have no doubt I shall be updating this video in the future as I obtain new source material. I've posted some of the source material on the internet and the URL shown in this image will allow you to view that. Denken Sie daran, Emmen Verhill, Heimatland zu Kampfen.